Respect people when they are alive. Save people when they are alive. Open doors for people when they are alive. Do something good with the people when they are alive. Celebrate the better days with people when they are alive. Celebrate the achievements with people when they are alive. Do so much good to celebrate with the people when they are alive. You can hear that somebody is in hospital. You don't go and check on them. You don't even WhatsApp them to say, how are you doing? You hear that someone is struggling. You don't even go to meet with them. You don't even go to ask them, how can I help? But then as you hear that that person is dead, you stop everything that you are doing. You take even and leave from work. You put petrol in your car to drive a long distance to go and do what you call pay my last respect. What respect are we paying? When they were alive, we never called them. When they were struggling, we never reached out to them. But simply because they are part of family and we know them, then we are able to stop everything that we are doing and make time to go to a funeral and we say we are going to pay our last respect. Is that respect? It is a culture that we have indoctrinated ourselves that when we go to a funeral, we are paying respect. And I think it is just trying to appease your conscience that at least you saw their dead body. So if they go to heaven, they might report you much more better that at least you showed up. I see Christians specializing on funerals, but they'll never visit a person in the hospital. They'll never come to your house to say, we've come to check on you, how you're doing? But they can buy suits, they can buy a new attire to go and bury somebody who can't see them anymore. I call that misplaced compassion. You're being compassionate over the dead who cannot even receive your gifts, who cannot receive your flowers, who cannot even see the flowers that you're putting on your grave. If I'm dead and you have never bought me a flower and you come on my grave to put a flower, I'll come out of that grave and I'll take those flowers and I'm going to worry you with them. Give me flowers now. Who say the black man does not want flowers? We want them flowers too.